everyone welcome back to the channel in this video I'm going to be attempting to make a storage panel for the sliding door on the T5 I've thought about well I've contemplated buying a, a plastic one that's already done and they're a good hundred and odd pound so like everything else with van I thought I'll give it a go first if it doesn't work out it looks a bit you know then I might think about buying one so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the panel off the door now, which is the standard panel with, with carpet on it. I'm going to unscrew that off so I can get a, some kind of template and go from there. Right, so all it is, probably got about just a bit more than half a dozen screws, Phillips screw heads. Just take these off. Might speed this up because who wants to see somebody taking screws out of a door? So, take these out of here. Right, I've got all the screws out apart from one. And that's right down here, so one second. So, take this one out. Probably about half a dozen screws. It's about three at top and three at bottom. There might be more on, on yours if you come to do this. So, I've got them all three along top, three up bottom. And then that just slides off, but might need two hands here, won't it? Come on, oh, I've missed one. Right, there were three screws at the top and three screws at the bottom. So all it's a case now is just lift it off. Oh, that is. And uh, put it inside the van. Right, so this is the panel we just took off. And this is what you've got here. Mine's got loads of mine's got loads of insulation in it. Right, so I'll take that out. This were uh, recycled plastic bottles that I've got in here, that insulation. Put this to one side, then uh, once I've figured out what room I want and all that lot, and then my lie behind that. I think I can leave that there to be fair. That'll be alright up there. Right, so that's what we've got to play with now. Right, this is with the door with the panel off now. So I don't know if you've ever seen one, but the, the storage compartment shall have three. You've got like three levels and you've got your fascia and then you can just obviously put stuff in. So I'm going to try and recreate like one of one of them plastic ones and we'll see what we get. Right, I've got my panel now on the plowed. I'm going to use that as a template now to draw around so I get the basic shape of what I want. Right, I've led the panel on top of the piece of ply that I've got out of. Now the thickness of it, it obviously the, the standard uh, ply were thicker but the, the issue I had with this as well is because it's thicker when I used to open my door you can see this bit here this used to rub on outside of the van and it marked out van so and you can see where, where dirty mark starts there that's where it would touch it van so I'm thinking that if the plies not as thick once I've got the carpet on it'll still probably be about half half that if you will so I've done I've got this other sharpie I've gone all the way around around here just measured up just drawn away come around outline all the way around here just use the uh, the old board as a template and then put that to one side and I've got me where I've got to cut it down right um, I've been it van and I've measured it up and that lot all I've done is excuse the bird all I've done is um, bear with me right I've been it van and I've measured it all out um, what you can see on the board now that's on the floor I'll show you in a sec is the dimensions of well the, the, the measurements of where 
the space is, if you will, so I'm going to have to work around that, so I'll just spin it around. Right, what we've got here now is the measurements of the... Excuse the bird, sorry. It's really loud. Right, what we've got is we've got the top part, the top com what will be the top compartment, the middle and the bottom. All that, all that I've marked out there is the, the space at which I can work with, if you will. That's that's the the size of what's in the van. So I'm going to make the the front fascia part a bit smaller. So obviously when I put the cupboard, when I put the the uh, shell type bits in at the back, it, it'll have a lip all the way around. If you get what I mean, it'll probably come all uh, all together when I've uh, when I've done it. I hope. Right, that's where we're at. Right, I've cut out what I've got need to cut out now. He goes, hello, Latin. Mm. Hello. Right, babe. Right, so I've, I've, I've done the template. I marked it all up. That's the old one, obviously. And then, obviously, now I've cut it out from the markings, the, the markup that I, I wanted and stuff. So now that's where we're at. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to line up my hearing up against it where the screw holes are and just give it a quick a rough mark up where it should be. That'll give me an idea where the screw holes were on the... Right, I tried fitting it in van and it seems alright. So, I'll spin it round now and I'll show you with carpet on because I've put some carpet on it now. So that's it with carpet on. Obviously that's that's the old one behind it like, but that's what we're at. So now we're going to put it in van and I'll uh, have to do the shelves under a later date, but that's where I am right now. Right, I've got the shelf sorted that I want now for inside the storage unit. So I'll turn the video around again and I'll show you what I've done. Right, these are the shelving bits that I've done now. They're made out of cardboard, but if it all fits and everything and, and works out all right where I want it and that, then uh, I'll, I'll sort, of, sort out something a bit stronger than that. But as it stands, we'll see how the fit is and that lot before I finally... Uh, Make something that look a bit stronger or reinforce these. Right, apologies everybody. Um, I was going to show the shelves that I've made, that I've measured up and cut and everything. Uh, I was going to show them as they were in the van and all that lot. But what I've done now is I've got the shelves and I've, I've used a poor man's fiberglass uh, technique which is <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's it's paper mache really so what I've used is PVA glue and brown paper and once it goes hard it goes proper hard so obviously the shelves are 
made out of cardboard and I said they they were like mock ups or whatever, but that that's how they're gonna be because I tried it in wood and the wood that I had was a little bit too thick and that and you really, really tight space what you've got where you've got the, the shelves and that, it's really tight. And it's one of them where you cut it out, you put it in a van, and it's a bit too tight here and there, and it's it's a bit of a faff. So I thought I'll try it with cardboard, and uh seemed to work all right. But I'll show you where I'm at now. It all fits it van. I think it don't look too bad, but... You know, it's all trial and error and stuff. So I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll show you now and <laughs> see see what you think. I don't know why I'm laughing, but anyway, right, right. This is what the reverse looks like. Um, it doesn't look much, but from front, it looks all right. So that's from the reverse. Uh, what I've got is obviously I've got my cardboard shelving, and then I've got my brown tape. I've used PVA. And like everybody's everybody at some point must have done paper mash here. That's that's what I've used. Instead of using uh flour and water and stuff, the old school type stuff. I've used PVA and brown paper. And once that goes hard, it goes rock hard. And I mean rock hard. It's really good stuff. And I'm not just saying that, it it really does go rock hard. So I'll show you from front, I'll turn it round. Um to what it's like and see what you think. Right, the depth of the top one. I'll I'll, I'll give you measurements in a minute, but the, the depth of the top one's not too bad. Depth of the middle one, that's fine. The bottom one, it's a bit shallow. It's the, but it it's that kind of uh, area at bottom at door where it's not it's not they don't got that much room anyway. But right, so. As for middle, it'll take a can, no problem. So we've got that. You can just keep going as much as you want. I'm just going to keep going right to end. And it's, it's holding that fine. But I don't think you get a can on top. See, it's not, not deep enough for a can on top. You get one at the bottom, but it, it's just sat there. You know what I mean? But I've got plans for the bottom. But, uh, yeah. As far as holding stuff up to now, it's alright. So, uh, next bit will be put in the van. I'll show you what's what. Right. I've finally done up carpeting now. Final bit of carpet on it now. Um, so I'm going to... Spin it round, let you have a look. I haven't, I haven't shown me carpeting it and stuff, but if anybody ever wants to see me doing something a bit bigger than what I did on, on Dash Up Van, then that's fine. But uh, it's not much to it, to be fair. It's it's uh, self adhesive back and you pull it back off and then you stick it on. That's all it is. And it's just cutting it out to the right size you want. So I'll spin it round now, I'll let you have a look at it, and then I'm going to go and stick it in Van, see what it's like. And here's the finished article. Oh, I don't know if you can make it out or not. It's a bit dark, isn't it? I can't really see it on camera, but that, that's it all. Uh, it's all carpeted now. Oh, try again. And there we have it. That's the, the finished panel, all carpeted. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but it looks really dark. I'm trying to see if I can get a different angle, but hard to tell but anyway yeah that's uh like i said i didn't i didn't show any of the pva and, and uh brown tape and the carpeting of it and that lot because it's it's too like, labor intensive if you want to call it that it's too, it just takes too long and it just my video will go on forever even if i fast forwarded it so that's what we're at so i'm going to stick it in van now and uh see what it looks like might be a bit lighter in van if i put lights on Right, get to the van. Right, back outside it van now. So, we've got the panel here. Bomb, it's like a bomb site in here. 
I've got the panel here, I'm going to stick it on the uh, door now and see what's what. hope you can hear me. of uh, figure of four to get it in but it's stuck on my toilet seat my toilet seat my toilet handle bag handle so that's that goes up against there that goes into there says oh snug <laughs> once it's in it's in right that's up against the once I've screwed it in it'll be right so I'll show you right we're all done it's on right finally done it's on I uh, might just need to tweak it a little bit here and there just to get it to fit. It, it does, it slides open and everything, everything works and that lot, but I just want a couple more screws in, I think. So I'll spin it around now and let you have a look. And that's what we're at. It all works, door opens. There you go. And, sure. and it's on. And that's it. On storage panel, don't look too bad actually, it looks quite cool. <coughs> quite happy with that. Right, that's the end of the video. Um, but before I go, um, I got asked of a subscriber called John about my front badge that I've got on, on, on front of bad, oh, front of, uh, grill on my, on my van. I'll probably try and get a photograph to show you. Um, I made it myself. He wanted to know where, where I bought it from and that lot, but I make it myself. And this is this is just one of well, this, these, these are a couple that I've, I've done. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it though. That's another thing. So that's one of them. So if you're looking, John, if you're watching, John, should I say that's the badge? There you go. So that's the badge. That's 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 that one you were uh, inquiring about. And I've got another one here. I've done loads of it. I've got loads of different designs. I, I did them a long time ago, but it, it, they were really labour intensive, and it weren't worth my time doing them. But if I can do them and I can uh, make moulds from them and stuff, if anybody's interested, then fair enough. That's a that's a an R, R racing one. There you go. You see, that's just a different design. I've got loads. I I, I made quite a few. But like I said, they're. Uh, packed away somewhere I'm not sure where they were so like I said that's the one you're on about John so if you're watching I'll see what I can do you know what I mean right thanks for watching uh, as ever please comment I love the comments uh, and subscribe and thumbs up all that and uh, I'll look forward to see you on next video so for now stay safe take care I'll see you soon See you later.